When you think of big mountains, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Many people will immediately respond, Mount Everest. This response is logical because Mount Everest is in fact the tallest mountain in the world. Many people have even climbed this mountain, which of course is no easy task. However, Mount Everest is not the most difficult mountain to climb. The most difficult is actually K2. K2 is the name of the second tallest mountain in the world. It is located in an area called the Karakoram in northern Pakistan. Now, a little history. K2 is the second of Karakoram's peaks. For that reason, it was named K2. When a British surveyor was naming these mountain peaks, he saw another peak in the Karakoram region first. So that was K1. Then he saw K2. So, in these names, 1 and 2 have nothing to do with height, as some people naturally assume. It's just the order these peaks were named. K2 was first surveyed or measured in 1856. At that time, the height of K2 was determined. Do you have any idea how tall K2 is? Well, it is 8,611 metres tall. At the time K2 was first surveyed, the mountain had not been climbed by anyone. That is, no one had ever reached the top. It's no coincidence, of course, that the world's two tallest mountains, Everest and K2, are part of the same mountain range, the Himalayan mountain range. So, we ask ourselves, why are the Himalayas so tall? Well, the Himalayas are actually one of the youngest mountain ranges on the planet. They began forming about uh, 50 million years ago when the Indo-Australian plate collided with the Eurasian plate. In fact, the Himalayas are still growing, about 5 millimetres per year, as the Indo-Australian plate continues to smash into Asia. Because of its incredibly tall mountains, the Himalayas attract a lot of climbers. K2, specifically, attracts mountain climbers with its extreme height and difficulty to climb. There are a number of difficulties involved in climbing K2. Perhaps the main difficulty is the weather. Strong winds are common. Bad snowstorms are also frequent. Combine strong winds, terrible snowstorms and over 8,000 metres of altitude and you can imagine how hard it is to climb. 